Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Sun under the main headline of Abramovich in Suspected Poisoning. Summary of headline article. Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich has reportedly suffered symptoms of suspected poisoning. Abramovich left the UK earlier this month after being sanctioned by the British government over his ties to Vladimir Putin. He has since been involved in secret peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. Bellingcat confirmed three members of the joint delegation, including Abramovich, attended peace talks in the Ukrainian capital on March 3. Abramovich, another Russian businessman, and Ukrainian MP Rustam Umarov had taken part in negotiations which went on until about 10 p.m. From Mail Online under the main headline of Max Verstappen is branded, Biggest Winger Ever in F1. By fans. Summary of headline article. Max Verstappen was labeled a, Winger, and told to, Stop crying, by F1 fans after complaining. About Charles Leclerc during his Saudi Arabia Grand Prix victory. Verstappen who retired with three laps remaining in Bahrain a week ago, made amends to take victory in the second race of the season. Fans lashed out at the reigning F1 champion for moaning about his title rival during the race. A second said, Verstappen stop crying on the radio you spoilt child. Another fan chimed in, by saying, I've never known a bigger winger than Max Verstappen in F1. From Mail Online under the main headline of Joshua's rematch with Usyk set to take place in Saudi Arabia in June. Summary of headline article. Anthony Joshua's World Heavyweight Championship rematch with Ukrainian war hero Oleksandr Usyk is set to be staged in Saudi Arabia at the end of June. Joshua fought there in December 2019. In a similar rematch against Andy Ruiz who had inflicted AJ's first defeat and first loss of his titles. The return clash with Usyk had looked to be heading back to London. At either the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Where AJ was thrashed in their first fight. Or Wembley Stadium. Few will begrudge such a bonanza to a man who enlisted in the Kyiv territorial defence the moment. Russia invaded his homeland. Usyk got the better of Joshua last year. With that fight at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium this is still a fight Joshua can hardly afford to lose at this stage of his garlanded career. From Daily Express under the main headline of Put That Drink Down, Serena Williams reacts after Will Smith hits Chris Rocket Oscars. Summary of headline article. We use your sign-up to provide content in ways you've consented to and to improve our understanding of you. More info sign up for tennis updates from on and off the court Serena Williams reaction to Will Smith hitting Chris Rock at the Oscars has started to go viral. The tennis star was in attendance to watch Smith win the Academy Award for playing her father, Richard Williams. In the title, King Richard. But the men in black and fresh Prince of Bel Air star finally struck gold. Claiming the Best Actor award for his role in King Richard. Pinkett Smith suffers from alopecia and she was visibly unhappy at Rock's comments. Rolling her eyes. From the sun under the main headline of Van Gaal tells Man United target Ten Hag not to take. Managerial job. Summary of headline article. Louis van Gaal has urged Eric Ten Hag not to take the Manchester United job because they are not a football club. But van Gaal feels the Ajax manager should steer clear of Man United because they prioritize the commercial ahead of the football. Speaking about Ten Hag's potential appointment, van Gaal said, I think Ten Hag is great coach. 
Ten Hag is thought to be one of four men in the frame to take over at Old Trafford. Man United currently sit sixth in the Premier League table. Four points adrift of the top four with nine games remaining. From Mail Online under the main headline of Jeff Stelling reverses decision to step down from soccer. Saturday. Summary of headline article. Jeff Stelling has made a dramatic U-turn and announced he will not be leaving Sky Sports Soccer. Saturday program at the end of this season. The 67-year-old decided to step down at the end of the season in October following a career spanning 30 years with Sky. But after discussions with Sky, Sterling has now decided to stay on as host of Soccer Saturday for at least the 2022-23 season. Jeff Sterling will not be leaving Sky Sports Soccer Saturday show at the end of the season in a statement. He said, Sky Sports is my home. And the Soccer Saturday team are a big part of my life. As Sportsmail reported earlier this month, Sky had wanted the BBC's Mark Chapman to replace Sterling as host of Soccer Saturday. From Mail Online under the main headline of former England captain Michael Vaughan to return to BBC. Summary of headline article. Former England captain Michael Vaughan is set to return to the BBC's cricket coverage on Monday. Night. The 47-year-old was dropped by the BBC and BT Sport for their Ashes coverage earlier this winter. After being named in Yorkshire's report into Azim Rafiq's claims of racism during his time at the club, Michael Vaughan is set to return to the BBC's cricket coverage on Monday night Vaughan denied their allegation. Vaughan was not involved in the BBC's coverage of the Ashes in Australia but the corporation had said it expected to work with him in the future. Vaughan was welcomed back by BT Sport this week as a pundit on coverage of England's defeat in the deciding third test against West Indies. From Daily Star under the main headline of USA left red faced after holding up qualified banner before reaching World Cup. Summary of headline article. The USA celebrated their win over Panama on Sunday night by holding up a banner which declared they had qualified for the World Cup. Despite that not actually being the case. Hattrick hero Pulisic later insisted it was an honest mistake and said they would not underestimate Costa Rica. Canada beat Jamaica 4-0 on Sunday to make it to their first World Cup since playing at the 1986 tournament in Mexico. The top three of the eight-team group will qualify automatically for the World Cup. We made a big step towards our goal of qualifying for the World Cup, Bearhalter said. From The Guardian under the main headline of West Indies 1-0 England. Player ratings for Joe Root's defeated tourists. Summary of headline article. Joe Root. 289 runs. Average 48. 1 wicket. Average 69. 4 catches by the hideous denouement. Root's trademark busyness with the bat required an almost visible force of will. The words he delivered in interviews said one thing but his eyes said another. It was harder to discern the tactics of England's most experienced captain than those of the West. Indy's much less experienced skipper. Grade C Zach Crawley. 184 runs. Average 31. One catch an opening batter will get a lot of good balls and get out to some of them, that is. Forgivable. Grade B Dan Lawrence. 197 runs. Average 33. 2 wickets. Average 32. 2 catches when Lawrence looks good. He looks very good. Grade B Mark Wood. 1 run. Average 1. 1 wicket. Average 45 His wicket was Craig Braithwaite. The West Indies best batsman and captain. Caught in the gully off a 91 miles per hour thunderbolt. 
from The Guardian under the main headline of, A Complicated Decision. Southgate faces Maguire quandary for England. Summary of headline article. Gareth Southgate has said he faces a complicated decision over whether to keep faith with Harry. Maguire for England after the defender's struggles at club level and hinted he has a lack of experienced replacements to choose from. Maguire is in contention to start against Ivory Coast on Tuesday night in what would be his 42nd cap for the senior side having been an ever-present during England's World Cup qualification campaign. We've obviously left some forward players out who haven't been in good form. So as I say, it is a complicated decision, with Southgate expected to omit Harry Kane against Ivory Coast. The England manager refused to confirm who would take the captain's armband from the Tottenham. Forward at Wembley. I'll let Ivory Coast find out when we put a team sheet in, said Southgate. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.